Hi there everyone. My name is Mayur Gohil and I will be helping you with Laplace transforms. Laplace transforms are those transforms which are widely used in engineering field in subjects like digital signal analysis and uh, uh, image processing and many other subjects. It is just it is used as a tool to simplify various problems related to engineering fields okay so let us go ahead and see what are the definitions related and what are the various concepts in laplace transforms okay so let us see what is the definition laplace transform definition is given in this format laplace of f of t is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt which is equal to phi of s okay now regarding this definition i am making certain observations that are let us see first observation here we see that there is this operator l this operator l is a linear operator i will prove this in my next slide so the second observation is that there are two variables one variable is t other variable is s okay so the next observation we see that whenever we solve this integral we obtain our answer in terms of s this is quite abstract and general but we will see it whenever we will solve our problem we will get our answer in terms of s the next observation is very abstract and very general let us see see this notation laplace of f of t is equal to phi of s this is frequently encountered in this chapter the meaning of this notation is that whatever change is recorded in the function f of t or the function on which Laplace operator is going to operate that change can be recorded in final answer this is the meaning and that is what I have written down here it is that it is useful to understand the overall change in the answer phi of s whenever there is any change in f of t okay this is the meaning of this notation so let us see the proof that of Laplace operator L is a linear operator. What is meant by a linear operator? In order to show that it is a linear operator, we need to show this property. That is, whenever two functions are added or subtracted, when there is a scalar, these are k1 and k2 are scalars, then what will happen? The scalars come out and Laplace operator distribute over the plus minus sign. Okay, So this is the notation. So let us consider Laplace of k1 f1 of t plus minus k2 f2 of t. Now this by definition we are aware it is nothing but integral 0 to t e raised to minus st k1 f1 plus minus k2 f2 of t dt okay in now we are aware that this integral sign is a linear operator again so it preserves the linearity so it can be distributed over plus minus sign and and it can be having whenever we take the constants over there they can come outside the integral notation so that is what is the next thing so i have distributing this integral sign over plus minus further what can happen is k1 as a constant and k2 as a constant they both come outside the integral sign and now if we observe this is nothing but our definition of laplace transform for function f1 and this is nothing but the definition of laplace transform for function f2 
so this will happen to give me k1 times laplace of f1 of t plus minus k2 times laplace of f2 of t so finally what do i obtain is my claim that is laplace of k1 f1 plus minus k2 f2 is nothing but laplace of f1 plus minus k2 times laplace of f2 so this is known as linearity property e of laplace so now let us go ahead and solve some basic examples keep this definition of laplace transform in your mind okay or you can write it down somewhere aside laplace of f of t is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt which is equal to phi of s okay let us now move ahead we are now going to find laplace of e to the power at this is a frequently encountered function so let us see how to find its laplace consider f of t equal to e to the power at by definition we are aware that laplace of f of t is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt therefore wherever you see f of t replace it by e to the power at what we obtained is this thing that is laplace of e to the power at is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st times e to the power at dt since over here the bases are same indices can be added when you add the indices and perform simple manipulation of algebra you obtain integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus of s minus a times t dt okay now on further solving this integral we obtain e to the power minus of s minus a into t divided by minus of s minus a and the limits are 0 to infinity when we substitute this upper limit as infinity we obtain e to the power minus infinity minus e to the power 0 e to the power minus infinity is nothing but 0 and e to the power 0 is 1 so when you substitute e to the power minus infinity as 0 this value is obtained over here and e to the power 0 is 1 it is here how is this minus 1 coming into picture it is because of the denominator sign over here minus is taken into the numerator and this minus is due to the formula and hence we have laplace of e to the power a t is equals to 1 upon s minus a so you can make a formula list and add this into your formula list of those functions that's it for today thank you